Hey everyone, it's Thomas here. So today I am going to continue sharing uh, systems from around the world. For those of you who have not seen the first part, please go check it out. Now my only ask is that please keep all the negative comments to yourself, such as, you know, the room is not big enough, there's no treatment and so forth, because I like to encourage people to send me their stuff as opposed to afraid to send me uh, their stuff. You know, as audiophiles, we should be encouraging each other instead of trying to make each other feel bad. Now, uh, somebody made a good observation last time. Instead of me reading the emails, what I'm going to do is that if there is an email to share, I'll display on screen at the end of each segment. So if you want to read it, just pause the screen and read it. If not, just let it flash for like one or two seconds and then move on. All right, guys, so uh, let's start. So let's take a look at Dave's system from uh, Montreal, actually very close to my place. Uh, what do we have? We have the ELAC F5.2 floor standing speaker, the Shed Audio Vider power amp, Shed Audio SYS passive preamp, the Shed Bifrost multi-bit DAC, the RAN CD6004 CD player, RC interconnects from BIS Audio, also digital coaxial cable from BIS Audio, wall power cables and power filter from W Audio. Acoustic absorber, panels, and diffusers. Yeah, I see you have a lot. So Dave, I am very curious how your system sounds. Maybe I should drop by after this lockdown, like you're, what, 30 minutes away from my place? Uh, the ELAC F5.2. Now, I'm curious because I have the ELAC 6.2 before, the, the bookshelf version, and I really like it. Now, I'm all, I've always been curious how the floor standing version will sound. So that's why I'm really curious how your speakers sound. Of course, your preamp, power amp uh, must have very good synergy, right? And the DAC too, since they all come from shit. Um, the VIDAR I had tried before is definitely a solid performer. I like your rack, by the way, it's really cool. And I like how clean uh, the presentation is. Of course, you also treated your room. Uh, it's always a big plus. Uh, definitely helps because uh, there was a big difference when I treated my room. So um, the Moran CD player, um, I don't know much about it, but I have a few Moran's product here at my place. And uh, so far I have good results uh, with Moran's products. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot, Dave, for sharing your system. Uh, hopefully after this lockdown, I can uh, drop by uh, to check out your system. All right, so next let's take a look at Chris system from Vancouver. So let's go over it. Uh, what do we have? We have, um, Moon P8 preamp, a Moon W8 power amp, esoteric P10 transport, a wired for sound 10th anniversary DAC, Monarchy audio upsampler, all the power cords are harmonic technology, speaker Y is also harmonic technology Pro 9, generation 3, uh, they're bi wired cables, uh, all the interconnects are harmonic technology Magic Generation 3. And of course, the star is the speakers. They are Monitor Audio Platinum 200, a second version. So Chris, you have one of my dream system here. If I win the lottery, it's definitely something that I'll buy. Now I've owned the Monitor GX300 before. I have currently the Moon W5.3. I can imagine them being a very good match because the GX300 is really revealing. The Moon W5.3 is really smooth. So uh, definitely, I would assume that this is a very good match. Now, I would love to have a preamp like yours, where the main unit and the power supply is separate. And the transport, transport, I've never heard that one. I know somebody who has it. But overall, esoteric products are you know, top notch. The DAC, I had the normal version, not the 10th anniversary, anniversary version. Uh, the few times I've tried products from Wired for Sound, Wired for Sound, don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so far, they've been really good. I like the rack, it has these little pointy feet. And uh, I noticed that you have a Furutech power bar, which I also own. Um, I actually like your cable risers. They're like little robots on the floor. So Chris, hopefully one day I get to hear it. I have family at uh, Vancouver. And uh, so I just want to say thank you for sharing your system. Definitely something I, I would love to get. So let's take a look at Drew's system from Hawaii. I uh, definitely would love to visit Hawaii one day. Let's start with the system. Cambridge Audio CD DAC combo upsamples to 24 slash 383. Oh, that's interesting, 383. 
Uh, balance Audio Technology BK60 Amp, Balance Audio Technology BK50 SE Preamp, Audio Physics Virgo 2 Speakers, DIY Balance Interconnects, DIY Speaker Cable. So the electrical is a dedicated sub-panel or 10 gauge stranded copper wires on breaker, 20 amp per component, watt gate receptacle with PK10 power cords. So it drew. I almost got the same power amp as you did a few weeks ago. I heard it with my silver line speakers and they sounded really good. I kind of regret I didn't pick it up that day and now I'm stuck at home. So wait till I can go out again. I'm going to hunt for one of those uh, power amp that you have. Uh, BAT preamp, I heard it before, not this specific model, um, but I remember them being very musical. They're not analytical. I don't know how it is with this model, but that was one thing that caught my attention. Audio physics, I've heard them before also. What I was really impressed is that they don't, they're not big, but the amount of bass that come out from them are really like impressive. I like the fact that your speaker, the color is the same as that little shelf uh, behind that little bench or whatever you call that. So thanks for sharing, Drew. And uh, what I envy about your setup is that you have such a big open space that's something that I wish I have at my place. And there's no substitute for having a good room. So thank you. So let's take a look at Erang's system. Now, I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Uh, he's from Shanghai and lives in the UK. So the speakers are Kef R500. The subwoofer is REL T5i, integrated amp, Audio Lab 6000A, CD Transport, Audio Lab 6000CDT. The streamer is a Yamaha NP S303 and uh, costing about 2,000 pounds all in. Uh, extra in the background, you have the Philips Hue system, uh, Kawaii, I think that's how you pronounce it, K A W A I. CA78 Digital Piano, the Yamaha Soundbar YSP1600, which he no longer use. Now, obviously, looking at the setup here is quite impressive. I'm really impressed with what you've done with the space, actually. It looks like it's a very long room. And of course, everything is you know, color matched. Actually, what caught my attention most in this setup is actually the models. I'm a big anime fan. So uh, for me, those were those are interesting. Uh, did you know that the clock that he has actually costs more than his TV? So what do we have here? We have the Kef R500. Now I had the R700 before. So assuming that they sound similar, these are what I call dark layback speaker. They're great for listening if you want to listen for long sessions, and uh, they're very smooth sounding. The R700, at least the one that had, had pretty good bass too. Uh, so audio labs, I never tried them, but I heard a lot of good things about them. And I can see that by going uh, for an integrated amp instead of separates, you it, it kind of makes the place look even cleaner. Uh, oh, by the way, I like how the, your chairs, your dining ch table chairs are also white. Now, Iran also shared uh, a photo of his desktop. The speakers are PreSonus Eris E5. Well, actually, what I found really cool is actually the models on display on your desk. Uh, I'm, as I mentioned, I'm a big anime fan, so I recognize those robots. Like, you got the Macross on the top right. Uh, I think Evangelion. Evangelion, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. On the left there, your monitor, big, nice, curved monitor. The other thing that caught my attention was, of course, the chair. Now, um, where I used to work, they, they invest a lot in high-end chair, like over a grand each. And it was really comfortable. In the beginning, I thought they, they must be crazy to spend that kind of money on a chair. But turns out if you're sitting down like a few hours a day, it's really worth spending that kind of money. I just like the fact that it's white also. So it really matches the rest of your furniture. So uh, overall, you have a very beautiful space. Having a nice looking environment is also as important as the system itself for maximum enjoyment. So thank you very much, Yuren, for sharing your system. Uh, definitely 
gave me something to think about. You know, maybe I should declutter my room also as much as possible. Try to match my furnitures and so forth. Yeah, who knows? All right, so thanks. Yeah.